good God we serve. He kept us alive that we can be in his house. The psalmist said, I was glad when they said unto me, let's go into the house of the Lord. And I know as you're joining us this morning, gladness is coming your way. And whatever is going to be done here, you just participate with us. The, because the blessing is already overflowing. This is the day. And I pray that as we enter this week, God himself will showcase you. God himself will favor your cause. Join us as we worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome to church. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wave those hands to God this morning. Father, we are grateful to be alive. We are thankful for your mercy, for your grace. You loved us. Hallelujah. Yeah.
Open your mouth and worship him. Don't stop yet. Don't stop yet. Don't stop yet. Don't stop. Worship him. High praise. High praise. High praise. Don't stop yet. Don't stop yet. Don't stop yet. He deserves your praise. 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 In Jesus' name, we have offered praise. In Jesus' name, we have offered praise. You know, this service is a celebration service. Would you clap for Jesus, please? It's a Thanksgiving service and it's a consummate service. In the last one month plus, the church has been in a fast and a prayers. And today we are giving thanks to God for how he sustained us. Just before we begin to pray, you know, memory is a recipe for proper thanksgiving. In Psalm 145, verse number 7, out of the abundance of memory, they shall declare your goodness. Let's open our mouth and give thanks to God for how he has kept us in the last one month, what he has done for us, the grace he gave us to go through the exercise. Thank you for life. Thank you for peace. Father, we thank you for how you have kept us. The memory of, of what you have done for us, we declare it. You are the one who sustained us. You gave us strength. You gave us grace to do it. We are not unmindful of how you have kept us. You shielded us. You kept us from falling. Our soul from death. Our eyes from tears. Our feet from falling. You kept us. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. We are here to give you thanks. Because you are the one who kept us alive. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Still praying. We're going to give thanks to God for all he has promised to do and all that he has laid in store for us. We are thanking him in advance for what he's going to do. And he shall we do it. Open your mouth and give him thanks in advance for that thing you are trusting God for. He's sure going to do it. We know that you are a God that can do all things. You don't play games. When you promise you bring it to pass. As we have asked you, Lord, we know you will do it for us. You will do it. That thing that we have asked you to do for us, in line with your will and purpose for our lives, you will do it. We trust, we thank you in advance for the testimonies that will come forth from all these. We know that you can do it. You've got the might. You've got the power. You will bring it to pass. You will bring it to pass. We thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. We're going to pray now. They say, let's declare that God will frustrate the works of all evil forces that wish to oppose our advancement in life. Just to back it up with scriptures. In Psalm 140, verse number 8, he said, Lord, do not help my enemies. Lest they begin to boast. Pray that God will stop them. In Psalm 59, verse number 5, do not be merciful to my transgressors. Open your mouth and declare that those who are against you, they will not succeed. They will not succeed. They will not succeed. That God will frustrate all their counsel. Lord, we trust you. You are the one that, is in, that controls, that is in power. We paralyze every works of the enemy against our lives and destiny. They will not succeed against us. We spoil their works. We spoil their works. We put them to flight. 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 Them to flight. Everything that's op opposed to us. We say expire. Expire. Enough is enough. 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 In Jesus' name. Next, we are going to declare that 
the counsel of the Lord in your life in this year shall stand. You've warded off the enemy, offended any enemy of now. The counsel of God concerning you is what we stand. Decree it right now. All you are asking for, you will see this year. All you have asked God to do, he will do it for you, your family, your children, your spouses, in your business, in your circle of influence. He will do it. We know you can do it. Might and power all belong to you. Show off in our affairs this year. Let testimonies abound. Let men come before this altar and testify of your goodness. Show off that young lady who's asking you, when will my pap give suck? That young man who is asking you, when will I become a father? Lord, bring it to pass. 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 It to pass. That business that has come at us, we revive it. Be revived. Be revived. Be revived. Be revived. Be revived. That sickness, that's that gnawing pain that has been chronic. We say expire. We announce your exit. We announce your exit. We claim good health. We claim good health. We claim good health. We claim good health. We claim prosperity. We claim abundance. We claim increase. We claim increase. We claim security. Peace of mind. Peace of mind. All around peace. All around peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Give him thanks for answers to your prayers. Give thanks to God for answers to don't stop. High praise, high praise. Give him thanks. Give him, he has heard you. He has heard you. As you have told him, he will do it. He has heard you. He will do just that. That you have told, and even more. He will do more than you have even asked him today. In Jesus' name we pray. And so, Lord, we thank you. What a service. What a day to be in your house. A consummate service. Thanksgiving service for all you have done for us in the last one month. We know that, Lord, you are the God that can do all things. And I will, as you have asked you, Lord, you will do much more than we have asked you. This is our year. This year you will establish us. The year you will turn things right side up for us. The year you will stop our enemies. The year you give us peace. The year you give us hope. The year you give us security. The year of prosperity, the year of abundance. Thank you, Lord. Show up in the service of today. Even as your servant brings the word, give him grace for ministry. The grace that makes ministry simple, but yet profound in its effect and in its reach. Let your word come with so much power, with aplomb and gravitas. Let the weight of your word collide with issues of life today. In Jesus' name we pray. Cause the Lord amen. Put those hands together for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. May please be seated in his presence. Good morning, church. On behalf of our Papa and Mama, I want to welcome every one of you to this glorious service. At the end of this service, you will testify. If you believe that, shout a louder amen. amen. Kindly listen to the following announcement, the prayer and fasting program which started some time last year shall be brought to a close this morning. To God be the glory, great things he has done. Put those hands together for the King of Kings, for the great and mighty things that he has done and he will still do. On Monday, the very important persons class shall take place by 5 p.m. This program is meant for all first time comers to the church and members who have not gone through the programs. All programs and activities in the various groups shall resume on Monday in full force. But the Covenant Youth Fellowship will not be meeting this Monday. They will be meeting the next Monday, the 7th of February, 2022. The Covenant Women Fellowship shall be meeting on Tuesday by 10 a.m. 10 a. All female pastors, pastors, wives, deaconesses, women, executive, and all consigned women in his glory and in all our branches in Benin City. Eh? There will be no women's program this, so the next, God bless you.
The Men's Fellowship Victory Encounter Program shall take place on Tuesday by 5 p.m. All men are to be in attendance. And on Wednesday, we shall have a powerful Bible study in His glory and in all our fellowship centers by 5 p.m. Put those hands together, if you will. This Friday, we shall have a power-packed healing and deliverance service by, in His glory and in all our fellowship centers by 5 p.m. The Young Minds, that's the former teens manual and the children's manual, they are out for purchase. Parents and guidants are kindly requested to make sure they purchase one for their children or what. If you misplace your driver's license, please see me at the close of the service. And if you misplace your ATM card, see me at the close of the service. That brings us to the end of the announcement. If there's going to be any other announcement we hear as the service progresses, God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, church. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. He does great things and he does new things. His word says that a new thing I will do. He said, I will do a new thing. Shall it not speak, spring forth? It will break forth for you. Say to your neighbor, God is a God of new things. And I'm going to trust him for new things. And I'm going to move with him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We worship you, Jesus. You are the shepherd of our souls. You are the lifter of our heads. We put our total trust in you, Lord. We trust you for new things. As you lead us through, Lord, we know that you lead us to our wealthy place. Hallelujah. Choir, can I get a witness? God is going to lead us to our wealthy place. It's going to lead us to our wealthy place, our place of fulfillment. He said you will break forth like a light. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless you, Jesus. Oh, yeah. to declare to you my past is over in you all things are made new surrender my life to Christ I'm moving moving forward hey, yeah, yeah. Hey. what a moment have brought me to such a freedom, Lord. I have found in you, you're the healer. You make all things new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not going back, I'm moving ahead. I'm here to declare to you. Come on. With all power in your hand, you have given me 
a second chance. A second Say hallelujah. 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 Hey. Trust in him. You have to put your hope in him. As he leads you through the Red Sea. He's God and he makes a way. Hey, forward. Hey, he makes a way. Oh. Hallelujah. God is taking us to a worthy place. Hallelujah. Can I get a witness in the house of churches? It'd be too cold. Can you lift up your hands and say, God, you are making a way. You are making a way where there is no way. Hallelujah. Say it. Not going back. I'm moving ahead. I'm here to declare to you. I'm not interested in the past. Because you are making things new. I'm going. 
going forward. I'm going forward. My past is over. My past is over. Aha, aha. Even I'm saying, talk to somebody. Wait till now. Now, Joy, we come meet for church. See that guy just looking at me. Tell somebody we're going forward. Glory, glory to God. Glory, glory to God. Put your hands together.
you don't want to dance, you go dance by force. Shout of the king.
to this special series. There is no way your life will not be blessed today. I didn't hear the amen. All that are worshiping for with us for the first time, we are glad that you came. We just love Jesus. We love to worship him. And we love his people. We are glad that you came. Covenant people celebrate first time worshipers here. And let me welcome very personally all around the world from wherever you have joined us. We know you are there. You are a part of this service. We are glad that we are a big family. We welcome you, Covenant people. Welcome our online viewers. Thank you. Today, we are truly blessed to have a very distinguished man of God. I respect this man. You know, for eight years, I had the privilege of living, leading the Pentecostals in this country. This man was the general secretary. And I learned the meaning of loyalty. When I went to Kafanchan, where he is based, and I saw the distance that he covers in every meeting and was never late. In fact, the first to get there. And I saw the magnitude of his work and the impact he's making. I just give God glory. I know we live in an era of prophet this, prophet that, prophet that. You know, in this church, we really... We don't bring everybody here. We, we know who we bring. But this man has exhibited, shown before me, a New Testament. Form of prophet. So he has come to just speak. God's words upon our lives. Whosoever you are, wherever you are, may I ask you, open your heart and let's receive the gift of God for us. From Throne Room Ministry in Kafajan, welcome Apostle Emmanuel Kure. Is that all you can do?
Can we just lift up our hands unto the Lord? Let's... Can you give him glory for his goodness and for his kindness? That last year did not consume us. Is by the hand of the Lord. One month of fasting. You have been fasting, I'm told, for the whole month. This month. Meeting almost every evening. Can you thank God for your families, for your lives, for the throne of grace? Just bless the Lord, somebody. God has been too good to us and been too good to the church. We make a miracle worker from his keeper. My God, that is who you are. You are the way maker, way maker, miracle worker. It's a great honor and a privilege. Daddy, I don't take this for granted. And mom, thank you. I have served with them. 
I have never seen righteous people who want to do right for everybody even at their own expense even at the expense of their name every man's name is all he has but when a man will put his name on the line for righteousness then you will know that God truly has found a vessel can we put our hands together for daddy and mommy dear I thought it was only those of us who were under persecution uh, those of us who face the battle and live every day as if there is no tomorrow I thought we were the only ones who wanted to insist that every second we must do what is right. Then I found a man who didn't live in our environment and who also lived every day as if that was his last and will, according to the righteousness of his heart, insist on doing what is right. And that made me understand that God still has a kingdom that has not bowed to bow. And today, it's a privilege for me to be here. He has stood with us in our times of storms, in our troubles. He's been the voice in the wilderness for us who tells us this is the way. And today, I feel so privileged to start the last Sunday in the first month in this place and to be the conclusion of the fast. Thank you, sir. I want us to stand up on our feet. I told us to bring our anointing oils. We don't have plenty of time this morning. As many of you have brought your anointing oil because <laughs> this year is like no other year. From the depth of the visions that I have received, from the depth of the visions that I've received. If you brought your anointing oil, just carry it, open it. We don't have time in this first service, so just open it. Listen. God is removing everything. I'm just going to give a summary. God is removing everything from where they are, they were, and is placing them in the original places that they should be at the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen, that means God is beginning to raise a platform that will welcome his only begotten son the Messiah for whom, I mean, whom he sent for the redemption of this earth. Before now, the earth could do whatever it wanted. It still had time. But now, time is no more. The power of man to dictate circumstances of any man or nation it's been taken away from them. The thrones of God are setting up all over the world to take rest power from man and from the kingdom of darkness and establish the earth in a new place. One of the first revelations God gave me this year was found in the book of Jeremiah where God said he will set his throne in the midst of Ella. And he will release his arrows. That is where it's going to begin. To scatter anything that does not look like a semblance of his will. As you hold that oil, I declare it the witness of God in your life. This year, wherever you enter, 
God he set, will set his throne in that place and will scatter everything that does not look like his will in your life. Oh, you don't understand. One of the missions of the Holy Spirit this year is to restore things as they should be. As they should be in your life. As they should be in the nation. As they should be in the nations of the earth. And the way God will do it, every habitation that was known, God is going to set his throne there. And he will release his arrows to do what? Scatter and rearrange. Scatter and rearrange. So there is going to be an orderly disorder this year. A deliberate disorder to correct things. Can you raise that oil? Can you say, Heavenly Father, by this month of fasting, this oil is a witness to what your servant is proclaiming. Today, if I have consecrated myself throughout this month, I receive the altar of God from heaven to sit in my life, to sit in my house, to follow me everywhere and rearrange my life for me and scatter anything you had not ordained for my life and rearrange my life for me in the name of Jesus. I enter into this covenant with you in Jesus' name. I didn't hear somebody say amen. We have a short time. We're going to just take it praying. Listen. We're going to take it praying. Listen. God is sending markers to remark your destiny and to remove the dead bones that had deviated your life. I repeat, there is somebody there. God is releasing markers to remove the dead bones that will not let you enter into the next place. I release the hand of God to find them in your life. Every thorn, every torment, everything that has knocked your life and will not allow you be Today, let it come under judgment. Judgment. Somebody shout judgment. In the name of Jesus. I didn't hear somebody shout amen. I say I didn't hear somebody shout amen. I didn't hear somebody shout amen. I saw systems falling. Systems that have been built for many years. I saw God revisiting injustices. And I saw God destroying the habitations they had built. And I saw God building new habitations. For the righteous that are left in the earth. Somebody say new habitations. It means by the end of this year, you will find yourself in a new place. The old is passing away. There is a covenant God has entered into you by this month's fast. 
that carries an oath that shall see to it that you find yourself in a new place this year. I saw God, I'm just summarizing, showing me the old heavens passing away with all its laws. The whole env old environment passing away with all its laws. And I saw a new heaven, forgive me sir, being established upon the head of each one that has been waiting for the visitation of the Messiah. And I saw a new earth being created underneath of them. And the new earth, because it did not carry the fertilizer of the old one, renews, released a new fertilizer for the life of this one that has been waiting on the Lord for visitation. It meant that the old law couldn't rule the new one. That means anybody with the old earth shall not be able to enter into your new earth. Because if he enters there, he will die. That new earth will kill him. Today, I release the power of God to begin to transfer you to your new earth. I release the power of God to begin to place upon your life your new heaven. And anything that will disallow it in between, I prophesy fire to consume that thing. Somebody shout fire! No, you don't understand. Can you wave that oil and say thank you, Jesus? I say wave that oil again and say thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I say you don't understand. Sit down for five minutes, if not less than, because we are going to be praying. Isaiah 40, Jeremiah 49, verse 35 to 38 quickly, so that you understand what is happening. Listen, for those of you who don't know, this year, it's a Sabbath year. Listen. It's the beginning of the jubilee of the Lord for the church. Jubilee means release of the Lord for the church. And literally this year for the nation of Israel is called a Shemitah year. Somebody say Shemitah. Shemitah is the year that God has separated from other years and consecrated. That means God has, has hijacked it from men, from governments, from systems. They would work according to the mind of systems. Meaning this year, we're not listening to our government. This year, we listen to a higher government. Meaning... This year, we not listen to your governor. This year, we listen to a higher governor. This year, we're not listening to the laws that prevailed around you before, that caused you torture, that caused you problems, that made it impossible for you to prosper. This year, shall look at what the higher is saying about you and shall pursue you with it and overthrow the systems that have not allowed you up till now to find your place and stand in your place. Can you say, my God arise and let the movement begin within me. In the name of Jesus, I have come in this meeting to prophesy you into a new place and God cannot be accomplished this year if you don't find yourself in a new place. Therefore, whatever will stand against my word, whether it is from under the grave, or it is your history, or it is the mistakes you have made, by the blood of Jesus, I blot them out and overthrow them out of your life. In the name of Jesus, I command a release to begin and a healing to begin in your bodies right now. In 
the name of Jesus. I didn't hear somebody shout amen. Oh, what are we talking about? Jeremiah 49 verse 25 says, Thus said the Lord of hosts, Note, everybody read that one. Behold, I will break the bow of Ella, the chief of their might. Ah, any leader that is leading or has been leading your downfall, this year will trap that leader. This year is going to go after the head of that leader so that your eyes can see clearly your destiny can see clearly whether the leader is in your father's house whether it is a pot or a shrine anything where they block your view in this Sunday service I bring it under judgment now I bring it under the eye of the Lord now if they had not been discovered before let the earth begin to expose them one by one. And I release the fire of God to consume them. In the name of Jesus. No, you still don't understand enough. Open the top of that oil. I want you to hear what the Lord is saying. So that when you anoint yourself, it is the ordinances of the Lord that the oil will follow your head out to carry out. Anything that sees that oil on your head, he said, can you see the mark that says change must come for this man? Oh yeah, everybody rearrange yourself now. Begin to carry blessing to that man. Begin to change his destiny. And you wizard, your time to die has come. For this man's sake and the oil on his head, fall down and die now. In the name of Jesus. That will be what the oil will be speaking. There is a mystery in your oil. Can you wave it before the Lord? Just wave it before the Lord. Just when this service is starting, it is concluding. So just wave it before the Lord. Say this year, as the Lord liveth in heaven, I will be a sign and a wonder. I and the family that God had ordained. I will be taking place, I will be taken away from the dwellings of Egypt. And I will enjoy the abundance of Goshen. My year of eating from the garden of God has come. By the hand of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Can you wave it to the Lord and say amen? sit down. Look at what that scripture says. And upon Elam, now for those of you who don't know Elam, Elam was a champion history, a, a, a city at a point in Israel. It was a symbol of Israel's deliverance. Any army that attacked Israel, except Elam, no put mouth. The hand of Jehovah will come down and just scatter that army. It had favor. Then when it saw it had become so powerful, it turned itself into an idol and gathered all kinds of idols and thought that without them, God cannot exist. God cannot do anything in Israel. God cannot move a hand in Israel. Ah, anybody that thinks that without him, you cannot prosper. I retire him out of your life. By new people, God will change your destiny. Some of you, your iniquities have so much condemned you that even if they beg somebody to bless you, he will refuse because he knows you. And those people, God will make them disappear out of your life. They will go and bless other righteous people. Because even if they want to bless you, 
your wickedness speaks against you. If you will repent today, God will set new people and a new environment for you. <laughs> and when those people see you, they will ask, who is this new man or woman who is coming upon a white horse with all the glory of heaven around him? God will have reinvented you, but it will come from the place of repentance. This is the year when God does not ride on sin to destroy or to uplift but God rides on a broken repentant spirit whether you are born again or not if you are not a broken spirit you won't see God this year whether you are a terrible sinner or not at the cross the man did he have time to do good works to restitute. He just shouted there. It was one second to hell. Lord have mercy on me. When you get to your father's house. God did not have time to prove him. That one second. His story changed for eternity. He said my servant in the next few minutes. You will be with me. In my father's house in paradise. Today, somebody's life is about to change suddenly. If you will humble yourself and be broken, your condemnation will not mean anything this year. It's your brokenness and restitution. Your brokenness and repentance. The Bible says if you be willing, you will eat of the good. If you be willing, the choice is in your hands. It's a very mysterious year where you cannot eat explain what God is doing. Listen. He says, and upon Elam will I bring the four winds from the four quarters. <laughs> I am going to mobilize the heavens to help to do this war upon Elam. God decided, decided to humble Elam because it had brought idols and it taught. There are people torturing us in the name of God. And they think they are doing God's service every day. They think they are the hand of God of judgment and that they are the only chosen. This year is the year of humbling them. Did you hear what I said? Because they had become proud. God was no longer speaking. It is an idol speaking. An idol. God is in the business of overthrowing idols this year. And their voices and the ancient ordinances. I'm going to share two, three dreams. Two dreams. And I'll close this meeting immediately. And upon the Lamb will I bring the four winds from the four quarters of heaven and will scatter them towards all those winds. And there shall be no nation whether the outcast of Elam shall not come. God is ordering creation to go up protest this year. Creation to rearrange things. And that is why he will set a new heaven and a new earth over your life. Go to the next verse. What does it say? <laughs> For I will cause Elam to be dismayed before their enemies. Before their enemies. And before them that seek their life. Ah. And I will bring evil upon them. Even my fierce anger, said the Lord. And I will send the sword after them till I have consumed them. There is a consumption coming. And I will set my throne. Now, note the words I started with. And I will set my throne in Elam. And will destroy from thence the king and princes, say the Lord of hosts. And it shall come to pass in the latter days that I will bring again the captivity of Elam, say the Lord of hosts. We'll stop there. Listen. Listen. Last year, I prophesied as we entered this year 
that we have entered the Shemitah year. Now, let me tell you, I was telling you about the Shemitah year. The Shemitah year is when God separates the land, the laws of nature, from the control of man, who is supposed to be the king of the earth, so that he can re-instruct nature and renew covenant with the land. And in Israel, it is done for agricultural purposes. So that the land deprived by the rich and feed them and restore back hope in them and make them look back to the God of heaven. So any man who helps the poor this year, God will exalt him. Listen, I'm giving you instructions. I'm giving you instructions. The poor amongst you must not be allowed to curse God. The genuine poor who are really day laboring. Not the ones that have turned it into a full time work. Poverty is what they used to make their money. No. The genuine one. Now listen. So I don't get deviated there. It's important that we note that God is building habitation both for the poor and for the rich. It's important that we note the Spirit of God will be going everywhere picking people. He will use as samples. And I saw the Lord set his throne. And I saw him begin to smite the chief ones chief, the heads of those who have brought disbalance to the earth. And I saw him attack governments and overthrow governments. And I told them to mark this first month. God is going to use some nations as samples. In order to bring a release, he will overthrow the powers that brought them oppression. And I said they should watch from nations to the lowest level. And I said, God is going to lift up people and put them in new circumstances that will fertilize their lives and make them prosper overnight. And the Lord spoke many things in those meetings about this year, some of which you may still hear today. Others you will not hear. But listen. Last week, I, ha I had a shock of my life. I woke up and suddenly, Burkina Faso is winning, election, uh, winning the football match. But at home, something is happening. There was a sudden coup, and the civilian government was removed. Listen, and God told me the overthrow of governments have begun. He said, I will show you a sign. I will show you a sign. Listen. They are the only ones that have done a coup in the last 18 months. In the whole of Africa, three coups have taken place in the last 18 months. All the others were punished except one, Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso was removed from ECOWAS, suspended, but no sanction was put upon them. Did you notice that? When I still give you your lease of life, I release your life to breathe and to feed well. It will be punishment. It's because I think maybe you are doing the right thing. But so the world does not condemn me. There is a law. So I suspend you like other nations, but I still give you the source of food. No sanctions. And I said, Lord, what is happening? He said, because the shifting of Burkina Faso into their new place has begun. Any spiritual and physical law that is keeping you in your old place, I don't know whether God will do it diplomatically like Burkina Faso, but today, I command your life to move out of that place. Prophesy to read to enter into the new place in the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, 
I don't have time for emphasis because I'm coming back. We'll be praying on this scripture. These are all our prayer items for this morning. Number two, I saw the Lord do something. He began to raise pillars of strength around which he was building a new earth, a new heaven. Human beings from amongst us. Pillars of riches, wealth, money, ego. I saw ego spring out of the church. Money. Pillars. He said, this thing, he said, 12, like the 12 disciples opened the doorway for the gospel all over the earth. He said, in every continent, he's going to raise 12 major men who will become like caterpillars that will in turn open the door for hundreds of thousands of Christians into wealth, into riches, into fullness. He said this new heaven will go contrary to the laws of the old heavens that people have created over our lives. This new earth will disagree with the former law by which the earth kept us impoverished, kept us poor, and will overthrow them. I said, God, what are you saying? Ah. He said, and anybody who will stand in their way, I will burn them by fire. I didn't hear somebody shout, Amen. So this morning, I command all the situations around you to loosen you and let you go. Because you have an appointment with God this year. You have an appointment with riches this year. You have an appointment with wealth this year. Therefore, every housing that is not of the Lord, I overthrow it in Jesus' name. Listen, I'm still, I'm still talking so that you can understand. I saw God say something. He said, for each man, sir, he said, for each man, I will build a habitation for him. I will build his own place for him. Every man will own their places. Whether poor or rich, every man will own his garden. Eh? Every man will get the place where in the chop. Make I speak the language one under, 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 understand here. Every man, God go give him in place where he go chop belly food. Every man will own his place. And I saw Israel, the church. I saw them dwelling in new tents, new habitations that God had created. Now, do you know the interesting thing about this year? The meaning in the Jewish language of this year, 5782 in the Jewish language, the meaning is habitation. Building habitations. Where you already have a habitation, God will make you begin to build estates. Grow estates. I'm trying to unveil the year. That was why I was called. And I've asked God for grace within this short time to let you know what he's doing. The Jews, the tribe that carries the covenant of this year is known as Zebulun. You've heard of the Zebulun tribe. Zebulun is a tribe in Israel that carries the covenant of 5782, 2022. Listen to me. The meaning Incidentally or not incidentally, it means habitation. Habitation. That means God is going to every house and building a place of dwelling. A place of dwelling. I command the oil to disappear. Command the new to incubate you now. Every 
month will build you a house. Every month will build you a new place. Every month will usher you into a new place. In the name of Jesus. I didn't hear somebody shout amen. Remember the midwives. It was God that built houses for them. The reward for faithfully serving God was for them. This year is the year of building. You will build your house. You will own your own car. You will build an estate. You will buy a whole street. You will buy whole markets. It, God is blessing us with habitations. Dwellings, estates, building. It's a year of building. It's a year of creating wealth. It's a year of building. And the reason why God is doing all this is to create a platform of strength for the Messiah to find his way back to the nations and take over the systems of this world. Because as we own the world and we have the houses and we control the economy, the Messiah will control the governments. I saw God hand over governments to the church because of the strength he has gathered for them this year. Today, I release that strength to find you and you will rule over a dust state. You will rule over Nigeria. If you are watching us on television, you will rule over your nation in the name of Jesus Christ. I didn't hear somebody shout amen. And my spirit wondered at what God was doing. I know some of you still are trying to swallow what this year is about. Let me read two scriptures. Because my time now is up. Scriptures will pray over. It's prayer time now. <laughs> Baba, I thank you for who you are. And I thank you for what you are doing. In Deuteronomy 33 verses 18 to 19. I put it on the screen. It still talks about Zebulun. 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 And of Zebulun, he said, Rejoice, Zebulun, in thy going out, and Issachar in thy tents. God built for them separate tents that was different from other people, that had laws that were different operating in them. And then he says, What will the ministry of Zebulun be? They shall call the people to the mountain of the Lord. There they shall offer sacrifices of what? Righteousness. Now, can we read the rest? Because some of us like reading the rest. We don't read the beginning. Can we now read the rest together? For you from today shall suck of the abundance of the seas and of treasures and of treasures and of treasures If there were none before, they will not be hidden. That means there is a miracle God has buried for this year for you. It has been hidden. So this year is a year of the hidden thing men never thought of. Happening in their lives, happening in the nations, happening in Nigeria. And God said suddenly he will change your name, redefine your life. Bless you with abundance and you will wonder what is happening. Don't call it luck. The day you call it luck, God will take it away from you. It's not luck. It's the law of the year. It's the command of the year. It's the command of the year. It's the command of the year. But listen, where did they get that miracle from? The mountain of the Lord. It means each of you, because there is a last thing, and I'll close the meeting. Each of you will have to be, go and build a mountain of the Lord for yourself. That means go 
and create your own secret altar of prayer for yourself personally. Eh? Make your husband no no. Make your abuse say you you they pray. He no no say you don't pray pastor because he no sabi say you they pray last year. He no say na abuse they abuse him every time. Now him they do the prayer. You go and establish a secret place of prayer and say Lord I have built the mountain. Oh, yeah, do the miracle for me. I don't have enough time to teach you on this. Don't you know it was the voice that followed Jesus from heaven that helped him fulfill his ministry on earth? Is there in Second Peter? I think chapter 1, verse 18. The voice that followed Jesus from heaven was the one that bore witness for him on earth before the disciples. The voice that follows you from that secret player, prayer place is the one that is going to panel beat everybody around you. When you see them, the voice will say, give them, oh yeah, give them, give them, give them in portion, give them, give them in contract. But because you found the voice on the mountain, you must create a mountain where the voice, the word of God will follow you back to help you change the earth. Anybody that does not have that mountain will not prosper this year. Zebulun draws men first of all to the mountain where the Lord blesses them. That is why this oil representing the mountain will be put on your head so that God will remember all that was spoken today. So that when you go up, the heaven will know what he bring you. Come. The heaven will know what you they look for. Go say, hey, my son, they don't tell you for church, make you come back here, Abby. He said, yes, Lord, I'm sorry. I was careless with my prayer life. Forgive me. I was careless with this. Forgive me. And can we start this year? Because it is only by you that I can prosper this year. And God is saying, my son, you don't talk through. Now, I take away your old clothes. I forgive your iniquity. I set you free from incumbrances. And any man way don't curse you. Any demon way go, they spy you. I don't remove his eye. I know not go see you again. He said, my son, that old person, when they worry you, I don't retire now. When you come out from this mountain, hey, anybody that wants to pray to, with you by the other law, I go finish them for you. He said, sure. Lord, what are you saying? He said, because I'm going to make you a sample of my power. But when I make you a sample of my power, you will open the door for the Messiah to sit campe on the road. If you cannot open the door, I go take away the thing I give you. Because I am giving you so that you can make way for the Messiah. So that you can build his systems. You can build his visions. You can build his will. How many of you vow to build his will when he blesses you? The church will not lack. The church will not lack in this season because men will be busy as they are blessed building the will of the Lord. Did you hear what I just said? That is the vision of the Lord. That is the meaning of Zebulun. Zebulun drew people to the place of power and got their destinies changed forever and ever. And God told me one last thing. He said, I will put a sickle in their hands. And they, by themselves, will begin to create wealth. A sequel. And by the sequel, that is Revelation 14, 14, to, uh, 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 14 to 17 or 18. A sequel. He said, and by that sequel, by that sequel, by that sequel, God said, they will harvest anything that is harvestable. I will bring them to the hidden treasures. They will be the first to get there. After they get there, other people will rush, but they will have taken the first fruit and all the good blessings. They will stay there for long because I will take them to another one where nobody don't come. That way, everywhere they enter, no competition. Now, after they don't occupy, that corruptors will come to corrupt. How many of you fully understand the program of God for this year? I was called to teach the oracles of this year and to take you into the spirit and the covenant of the year. And that's what I'm concentrating myself to do. Listen, when God does that, then your life will change forever. Stand up on your feet.
thank you, Lord Jesus. Shake it, rebos to Kori Bahandia, Yekinto, Lika, 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 Rabustaka. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dine the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. I say amen to everything. Hallelujah. I'm honoring. We bless you. Oh. For the year. 
We are talking about the year. Not every man can enter the year with a broad chest boasting about his power. I don't care who you are. Until you humble yourself before the Lord, the Lord cannot change your destiny. So if you are coming out, run out now. Run out now. And let the Lord bring you out of the shadows, bring you out of the accusations of the last year. The accusation of your own mind, your own spirit, your own body. And you tell God, God, take it away from me. Take it away from me. Please, as you step out, begin to pray. Don't wait for other people. We are not waiting for other people. Every man to his life. Now every man ain't getting life. They don't get your life for you. God, no, they wait for anybody. This anybody where they ready go work out with them. Anybody where they ready, God go work out with them. Oh yeah, tell the Lord now, Baba, Baba, I want to be part of this new thing. Oh, where you they do? Please carry me from the dust. I beg you, put me in this new place. Uh, change, redefine my life for me. Put me in this new place. Put me in the new place where I don't have condemnation. Forgive me my iniquities. Forgive me my sin. Forgive every compromise. Anything where I don't do, then make your Holy Spirit walk and go. Leave me alone. Please, I beg you. Help me beg and make it come back. I am sorry. Forgive me. I am sorry. Wash me. Let the pit. Give me up now. Restore me back to light. The Holy Ghost fire is moving just like a magnet. The Holy Ghost fire is moving just like a magnet. Moving here, moving there, like in the day of Pentecost. The Holy Ghost fire is moving just like a magnet. Put your hand upon your heart. Jesus knows all about my troubles. He will guide till the day is come. There's not a friend like the Holy Jesus. No. of this world today I plead the blood of Jesus to blot out my condemnations to wash my soul clean to give me a new spirit a new soul a new mind and a new place today in the name of Jesus anoint my head with fresh oil and let the earth open up to me let the earth help me. Let the earth bless me. Let all of creation serve you in my life. Restore back my strength, my healing, and my grace. Give me a new heart and a new spirit and a new prosperity. Bless my hands, the works of my hands, the works of my heart. I receive a new grace and power to overcome power to rule this year thank you holy spirit thank you holy father in the name of jesus christ can somebody say amen, amen. therefore right now in the name of jesus i command every attachment that has attached to you condemnations i command them to be torn out of your life I rebuke their authority and dominions over you and I release the fire of God to burn them out 
in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout amen. Receive a new spirit now. Receive a new life now. Receive a new soul now. In Jesus name. Open the top of your bottle. Everybody open the top of your bottle. Because you are just about to anoint yourself. Open the top of your bottle. It is with this anointing we leave. My work is done. Put Isaiah 30. 30. Isaiah 30, 30. On the screen. And if you were writing it, don't go to your seat. I didn't say go to your seat. Remain where you are. As if you don't have your oil, then go and carry your oil. If you have it, you're already in the right place. You're already just before the throne. This is the right place to anoint yourself. Okay? Standing directly in the forefront where the anointing day. So no, no waste time. We can't go anywhere because we are finishing. When you go to your seat, is to carry your bag and go home. Listen. Or carry your bag and wait for announcement. But listen. The screen is, okay, it's there. Can everybody read? The Lord shall cause his glorious voice to be heard in all of your houses from today. Amen. That's the blessing of that oil. I'm releasing the voice. I repeat, and the Lord shall cause his glorious voice to be heard and shall show lightning everywhere you enter. Amen. Anything that will not let you prosper, let lightning scatter that thing. Amen. And with the indignation of his anger and with the flame of a devouring fire, with scattering and tempest and hailstones. Ah! Let the earth begin to shake around you now. Amen. As they shake, let them make way for you. Amen. Verse 31 says quickly, quickly just on, for through the voice of the Lord, Shall the Assyrian, all your enemies, be beaten down? Amen. Which smote with a rod. Amen. Every rod that has smitten you, today I command that it melts away from your life. Amen. Any trouble where they struggle with you, I command it to melt away now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And then the last verse 33 says, 33, put 33 quickly. Okay, 32. And in every, no, 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 32. And in every place where the ground staff shall pass, which the Lord shall lay upon him, it shall be tabrets and harps. That means everywhere God smites for you, now singing and dancing will follow you after. Oh, during the next session, we are going to sing and dance. In a, I said, now singing and dancing will follow you. Receive the anointing for celebration this year. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> and in battles of shaking will he fight with it for you. Uh, go to the verse 33. Please, 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 quickly, quickly. <laughs> 33, 33. For Tophet. Tophet is a criminarium. You know what is a criminarium? Eh? Where then the born dead body. Where there no one bury. Then go criminate. Then go burn the body in the ashes go remain. Anything way no allow you prosper. God go burn them and the ashes go remain. Can you wear that oil? <laughs> now note. What does that scripture say? For the king it is prepared. It is for you. Tophet is being sent. To burn anything when no go let you prosper. Can you say heavenly father? Separate my waters now and heal me from my spirit, my soul and my body to my habitations. Repossess them all with your power and begin to build for me my habitations. I sanctify unto the God of heaven to build me a new habitation this year. I receive the dominions of the Lord over the earth. I receive the power of God for me to protect and guide me through the riches of this world. 
I receive the riches into my habitation. I receive my new place. And I anoint myself unto that new place. In the name of Jesus Christ. I didn't hear somebody say amen. amen. Can you anoint your head now? In the name of Jesus. And as you anoint, let the heavens open. And let the new law begin to speak in your life. In the name of Jesus. Can you put the anointing on the tip of your hands? The oil on the tip of your hands? Put it. Anoint your breath. And breathe in as you do it. Anoint your breath after anointing your head. Breathe the statues of the Lord into your spirit. From now, as you walk out, you don't become spirit. The laws of the earth shall be attracted to your life. And they shall fulfill your destiny. They shall fulfill your destiny. Anything that will not give you your blessing. Eh? Fire will criminate that thing. Can you begin to thank God for the miracle of today? And by that breath, if you had a sickness in your body, I declare that sickness disappeared now. Let the oil begin to criminate that sickness. The oil burned that sickness. Breathe in three times in the name of Jesus and receive your miracle in Jesus' name. God bless you. Somebody shout hallelujah. If you receive God's word, come and go ahead and celebrate the king. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Apostle, we thank you. May God continue to strengthen you. How many of you receive God's message? Praise God. You know, the body of Christ is complete. Different dimensions. And we truly receive what God has done in our midst today. Now he will be here in the second service. Some of you didn't bring your oil, so you can come and uh, be part of the second service. Very briefly, let's receive our tithes. All tithes in the house, stand on your feet. We are really behind time that we just want to do what we need to do. If you are a tighter, stand on your feet. If you have not been tightened, and because of the covenant you have entered into, today you promise God that you will give him the tithe. Stand on your feet, stretch your hands here. Father, you said we should bring all our ties into your storehouse that there might be provisions in your house. You said we should prove you through titan. If you will not open the windows of heaven and pour your blessing upon us, such as there will not be room enough to contain, now, Lord, prove your word in these lives. I proclaim over you that the windows of heaven are opened. The devourers are hereby rebuked for your sake. The Lord God Almighty calls men to bless you. The works of your hands are blessed. In Jesus' name. Now you have your tithe, come quickly, drop them anywhere on the altar. You want to use the POS machines? Please do so. You are here, moving in this place. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. Yeah. 
service you have to release your spirit and do the will of God if you believe in what the man of God has done here today demonstrate it in your giving Plant a seed that, that you will remember if you receive God's word. And get a very generous. you to give generously and so into the ministry of God's servants so we can be a blessing to him. Lift that offering and your seed Father, we thank you. We give praise and glory to you for the opportunity we have to plant our seed. You said it that as long as the earth remains, seed time and harvest will never cease. And that if we give, it shall be given to us, full measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over you will cause men to give to our bosom. Let your word work for your people. This week you will be blessed. This week favor will be shown to you. You will return back with testimonies. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. If you are in the house, come on, shake your body. Kilomu Tomiwa.
you. How many of you have not gotten your first fruit envelope? You don't have your first fruit envelope? Can I see your hand? If you need one, just lift your hand so that our ushers can pass one to you. We have come this long way. There is no way this year will not be better for you. It's already getting better. Say amen. amen. You need a first fruit envelope. Lift your hands, ushers, that are hands up. Ushers, be smart, be smart, and fast. Fast. Take it, gather your first fruit, march the sixth. Is our foundation Sunday where we will present all our works officially to God. It is important that you obey. I mean, the man of God have released very deep prophetic insight. I mean, in an unusual way. So don't toy with it. And that anointing oil, use it. You are a priest over your house. If you believe God's word, also believe God's servant. Now, I have mentioned, I had in the past one or two weeks uh, that we should take care of our poor people. No poor people here. We want to help people that are not as privileged. And I have announced it. Bring your full stores. Bring money. Bring things you want to help. I'm appointing the leader of our men to receive it. We are going to get a committee to administer it to those who actually need it. So you brought anything, money or food or whatever, bring them down right now. You brought money. It's not for the church use. Drop, drop them here quickly. My people hear my voice. No obedience is better than sacrifice. And God confirmed it through his servant. This morning is what we must do. It's what we must do. Your own destiny somehow is tied to someone else's. We are a doing church. We do what we preach. The orphans, the widows, the elderly that have no care. We will care for them. Please do that really fast, really, really fast. Mora. You will take care of this. You will 
I point more people to look into those who qualify. Thank you for being obedient. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My washers, gather them and hand them over to the Kinehua. Stand on your feet. The under shepherd of this house, I declare that 2022 will favor you. The prophetic word that came to us throughout this fasting exercise. And the one of this morning will at this time next year you will be alive and well. You will be better than what you are now. You will be greater than what you are now. Favor will locate you. It's a year of singing. It's a year of rejoicing. It's a year of prosperity for you and for your family. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Now we are closing. Please, when we close, quickly get your vehicle and leave others are already waiting and uh, some of you may need a little bit more some of you quickly went to, to buy oil when the prayer had already gone you may need to come back I know this man I know him who he is he's just functioning in the area God has called him so if you need to come back, you couldn't get your oil available, come back for the second service. Stand on your feet, everybody. Unto God's faithful hands, I commit and commend you. I launch you into a season of breaking forth, a season of singing a new song. You will be blessed when you go out. You will be blessed when you come in. It shall be well with you. You will bring good testimonies to this house. In Jesus' name. Go in peace. Thank you.